Well, we are back with Richie, Dan and Ali. Before we head on and talk about injuries and other rugby-related matters, um, in, in terms of people applying for grants for For Everyone, what do they need to do? Yeah, that's what we're sort of here to create some awareness um, so people can, can get online and, and apply for you know, some grants so we can, can keep giving yep. to the community. So they can do that uh, via our website, yep. uh, foreveryone.co.nz. Uh, uh, there'll be an application form on the website they can fill out and, and we'll go through all those. And, uh, and there's lots of ideas on there that will give people um, ideas themselves in terms of what you guys are happy to help out with, eh? Yep. It shows yep. the ones we've, we've done before, yes. so uh, you get an idea of, but you know, like, um, just if, if you've got an idea, apply and, you know, yeah. mm. uh, hopefully cool. it, uh, cool. we can help. We'll have your website up on our Good Morning website. Speaking of the Good Morning website, we've been flooded in with viewers' questions, which we're going to kick into now. Uh, there's one from uh, Pauline. How are you guys feeling about playing Ireland in June and any particular person or persons you'll be focusing on, Ali? I'd love to make the team. <laughs> um, you got a bit knocked around at the weekend, did you? Yeah. Look at that nose. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you can see it. Too, yeah. Thanks. He was trying Thanks. to hide it, Jeanette. <laughs> love you. Love you. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a different structure this time. and It's in terms of it's in between the uh, Super 15 and playing Islands. Uh, it's always a great challenge. And mate, yep. for me, playing Paul O'Connell is, is, is always a good challenge. So okay. looking forward to it. What was it like after the, winning that cup? What was it? How long did it take you to come down from that unbelievable high? <laughs> still I don't know. It took, took a while to it took a while to sink in actually what you'd done. I think. Um, but it was so thinking close. Yeah, like for the week <laughs> afterwards, we had a pretty pretty good bit of celebration and stuff. Yeah. And you left a hell of a mess in my house. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I think what I got really enjoyed was seeing how excited and, and probably relieved two people were about the enjoyment they got out of seeing Amazing, the All Blacks win and the actual tournament. So it was water cooler talk that just hung around four months. Mm. You know, mm. it really was. In terms of your injuries, where, where are you? Have you how many bolts you got in there? No, I got none left oh, now, good. which is good. I had <coughs> the last couple of screws taken out uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it feels pretty good. So hopefully, be back on the field pretty soon. I'm yep. sort of watching. Um, you get a bit frustrated training and not playing, but it uh, makes you eager to get back out there. So and you will be soon? It. Yep. OK, cool. We, we have a photo. This is cool. Hi, Richie. This is from Ruby. She says, my name is Ruby. I'm 10. And my family and I went to the World Cup Games at the Fan Zone in Christchurch. We had a fantastic time. On the day you won the World Cup, our cat Evie had four kittens. I thought you might like to know what we named them. Richie McPaw, <laughs> Kevin Meow Lamu, Puri Weepu. And Meow Nonu. And there, <laughs> that is Richie McCaw, oh. right there. Your namesake, kind of. Yeah. She's a good looking cat, eh? Dan, you, you, you've got a little. Uh, boom. <laughs> you've got a little. Um, I have a wee message, out. yeah, for James uh, Aberdeen from Tapui. Uh, who's Jay, that's, his, that's his full surname, James oh. Aberdeen Tapui. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, right yeah. There you go. My uh, terrible handwriting, sorry, yeah, Dan. That's all right. No, but uh, poor James, you know, he's having a bit of a rough day. He got diagnosed with. Uh, Leukemia uh, last November. He's a mad rugby fan and wants to be an All Black one day. Yay, so, James. from uh, behalf of the three of us, uh, big chance, mate. Uh, keep right. smiling and uh, yeah, all the best. Very cool, Dan. Another quick question here from Rachel. Does all the attention ever get overwhelming, or are you able to keep it under control, Richie? <laughs> oh, I think you've got to uh, got to keep your feet on the ground, and, mm. and you do that by the people uh, like him that sort of keep your feet on the ground. <laughs> it's um, I, I think. You, if you, if you got carried away, like in New Zealand, people would tell you pretty quickly, and your friends and families definitely would, so um, it's, it's not too bad. Mm. Brits wants to know, what were your worst subjects at school? English. 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 Uh, science. Yeah. Science. English, yeah. English and science. OK, that pretty much covers the bases there. <laughs> uh, another one. We've got so many to go through. Um, for, uh, from Brittany, please, uh, any advice for a 17-year-old that's a passionate kicker but has had a recent knockback with a shoulder injury that will ultimately require surgery? That's for you, Dan. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're in the same boat, actually. So yeah. the <laughs> injuries sort of holding our kicking back. But um, no, just keep, keep positive. You know, you can have setbacks uh, in life and in sport. So uh, just keep working hard on uh, getting that, that shoulder right. And, and once it is, you yeah, keep practicing. And uh, I'm sure, yeah, just mm. uh, enjoy it. It's, it's the reality of rugby. Indeed. There's injuries. I mean, we've all been through it. And it has been a privilege and an honour to have you all Thanks, here. Guys. Last oh. night my phone was running hot. How many yeah. girlfriends of mine wanted to come and watch the show today? <laughs> <laughs> Good Thank to have you, you on so the show. Much. All the Thank very you. best with the For Everyone charity, and they Thanks, can be guys. in touch with you guys through your Facebook and your uh, website and as our well. Website as well. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Tomorrow we'll be training dragons with the biggest indoor spectacular ever to come to New Zealand. Luke Bettersburg will we'll be doing fashion of all sorts. We will see you tomorrow with a whole heap more on Stand the program too. See you guys. Have a great day.